wonder how May is going to be feeling now. She is going to be so inconsolable, losing her first son. We all know that she has four children, but no woman wants to lose a child of hers because her love for her children are all equal. She really loves two children and she really took care of them. And now coming to hear a very terrible news, a very, you know, disheartening news. Gotten from Vanguard, Yul Edoche loses, you know, his first son, Kambili Chuku Edoche. It was gathered that Yul's first son was rushed to the hospital after falling unconscious. A source who spoke to Vanguard on condition of anonymity revealed that Yul has confirmed Kambili's death at the time of this report was filed. May's child was at the scene, said the boy read throughout the night preparing for his exam. After his exam in school, he joined his mate to play football and that is why he developed a seizure and was rushed to mother and child hospital. All efforts by the doctors to resuscitate him has proven abortive. This is coming two months after Yul Edoche and the wife celebrated the child's you know, 16 years birthday. They prayed for him, they showered him with all kind of you know, praises and blessings and now look at what is happening. If you've not been for Following the story, we all know that you know they have been having some marital issues in the marriage. When Yul Edoche came out to announce that he has gotten himself a new wife, he has gotten himself a second wife, and he announced it on social media. But May has insisted that she was never going to accept Judy Austin because obviously she knows that the woman has evil plans, evil intentions for her and her children. And ever since then, they've been tussled of what they've been fired, they've been you know quarreled, there have been quite a lot of you know um discord to the extent that sometimes they tend to bring it on so social media. Now this, May losing her first son is a thing not to rejoice about. I know some people are you know, already pointing accusing fingers at Judy Austin and her friends and her cohorts because obviously, because they have seen the way that uh, Judy Austin have acted towards Yule Edoche. They have seen the way Judy Austin have acted to be the evil person. They have seen the kind of crime that she is capable of perpetuating. Somebody that can leave her husband's home, abandon her husband and take her children with with her husband's children, that is Mr. Bassi, now is fighting to take over May's place. Instead of her to hurt May, people are saying that she has decided to hurt the child because when they hurt the child, it's definitely going to affect the mother. But we don't know whether for sure, whether it was just a normal you know, sickness that just made him to die, slump and die, or just uh, maybe it is a spiritual attack, but whichever one, all we need to do is to pray for me because at all this time, eh, she's definitely going to be inconsolable. That woman has struggled a lot in life. That woman has gone through so many things. And for her to hear the death of her son, it is a prayer of a mother for her children to be greater than her, for her to take care of her children at old age, for her to go for omugo, for her to see her children prosper. And then the child, you know, dying at this very age is really, really painful. I pray that God Almighty is going to come to the Edoche's family and console them at this very important, this very, you know, critical state of their life. It is not easy, like I said. It is very, very disheartening. I don't even know how to, you know, no amount of consolation can even, you know, console her, no amount of, you know, pleading. What I want is anybody that is close to her, please should stay with her. She really needs we are this very important you know, time in her life where everything seems to have fallen apart. She really needs people to you know, be there for her and she really needs her friends and family and well wishers to be there for her because this battle is not for her, it is for the Lord. God, this is really, really sad. This is really, really terrifying. This is really, really, you know, how, how will I even put it? This is really confusing because I don't even know where to start from. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to report this news, but whichever way I have reported it, just know that the deed has been done. All we have to do is to pray for the Edoche family and put them in our various prayers because they need our prayers at this very important you know, thing that is happening to them. It is very terrifying. It is very you know, annoying. It is very sad because the devil has really you know, come to overwork time. But God, at the end of the day, is the ultimate and is definitely going to you know, be there for them and you know, console them at this very, very you know, critical state of their life. Okay, guys.